Greetings everyone, welcome back to the channel, TJB Chris here, thanks again for watching, I really appreciate all the views and feedback I get, and tonight we're going to do ourselves a video on the color computer. Nothing terribly earth shattering, but something I've always wanted to do just because as a kid I thought it was cool that people could do this, and yeah, I couldn't really afford to, and I was a kid, so now I can and now I will, we're going to make up for some lost time. So what are we doing tonight? We're going to make ourselves a program pack. So, not really make. This is a board that I bought from Ian Maverick. This is one of his The Right Stuff reproductions. And a very good one, I will say. And you can see this has an 8K uh, diagnostic ROM in it, but it has the socket for the other 8K uh, ROM, and it's got a additional capacitor that will have to be installed for that. So I have the capacitor here. I have myself a couple of EEPROMs, and behind the requisite whiskey, I have some foil that I will be using to cover those EEPROM windows after I erase and program them. And what we're going to do is we're going to solder the parts on, we're going to go to the Color Computer Archive, and we're going to find ourselves a ROM, we're going to burn it, and then we're going to try it out in the Color Computer and see if it works. Again, this is uh, nothing useful. Um, in fact, this is a pretty pointless project. You could use one of the flash banks in the Super IDE or the Coco SDC, but eh, there's just something fun about burning ROMs, and I felt like it was a great way to spend a Thursday night. And for those of you wondering, the uh, covers behind the whiskey there, that's uh, bourbon, uh, is just HVAC foil tape. It works really well, it peels on and off easily, I really like it, so just, uh, just so you know. Okay, so let's get to it. We have our assortment of components here, the soldering iron is already warm, foil tape aforementioned, my EEPROM burner ready to go, this is a weird cheap knockoff one that does work, but the, the timers pretend it just, it's on or off. Um, but whatever, I don't really give a... So, and I have my ROMs and my socket, and I'm not terribly uh, enthralled with the socket. This is actually a prototyping socket, but the place that I usually frequent to buy these things didn't have any more traditional uh, dual wipe sockets. We'll see if this works. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll pop it back out, and I'll buy one on DigiKey or something, but... I like to frequent the local business. I got some caps for C3 there on the board. And, of course, my solder and my wick in case I make any mistakes. So let's get to it. Okay, we're in position. I've got the iron warmed up. I'm going to try my best to keep this in frame. I've got kind of a static shot with the camera behind me, so I'll try not to block the view. So that is our new board, all soldered up, we got our cap on there, we got our socket in, and uh, I'm actually pretty happy with these solder joints. I, I've learned that less is more with these, I tend to put too much solder on things, and I think I did a better job this time. I think we have nice solid connections now, so this should be good. Now it's going to be time to pop out this diagnostic ROM, and then we'll clean these up, uh, get them erased, and we'll do the next step. There she is, Diagnostic 2.0. I could peel this off and reuse it, but eh, no, no need. We've got the two new ones, which we're now going to put into the eraser. these go 10 minutes. We've got light. Okay, here we go. So we'll let this go for 10 minutes and then we'll come back and check. While we're waiting, how about we pick a ROM image from the Color Computer Archive to download? Okay, what game have I wanted to play that I don't have? And 
I could download them and play them on the emulator if I wanted, but let's just download Diagnostics 2.0 and do that again. Okay. Uh, we have Downland. I have actually played Downland. Dragonfire won't work on the Coco 3, so I'll have to play that on the Coco 2. Let's do Tetris. That's a 16K ROM. It's going to take both of these chips. Let's download that. Tetris. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to prep this by plugging in the EEPROM programmer. Okay, so what we've done here is I've taken my Tetris ROM file, which is all of 16K, and I'm going to split it into two parts, part one and part two, and that's going to allow me to split it across the two different ROMs that I have to burn. So let's do this. Use DD to do this, and we're going to do BS equals one, count equals 8192, OF equals part one dot bin. Okay, 8192 bytes in. And then I see they're doing the decimal on the K byte KB there. Shame. And we're just going to do skip equals 8192. So we're going to skip the first byte, 8192 bytes that we copied. Block size one, which really just going to count for one. We're going to count another 8192 bytes, OF part two. Okay, so now, I should have two ROMs. I do. I have an 8192 part one and an 8192 part two. And if I did this right, when I put them together in the ROMs, this will work. So here we go. We have the binary files. I'm now going to choose my device, which I think I already have. Okay, this isn't. I'm going to do this. I'm going to search for 2764. And I think what we're going to do is this is an Intel. This is a D2764A. Now what we're going to do is put the ROMs in, and the way these go, we can see the, the diagram here tells you how to do it toward the bottom, so I'm just going to put this in here and line up the pins, and so it goes right in, so the bottom line is lined up. Do this in, and we're going to open, I'm sorry if this all looks a little stupid, we're going to copy start up in, let's see, users, Chris, Downloads. Done. Okay. Move this back to where this is going to see it because this doesn't like that Linux pseudo file system thing. And okay, we're going to do part one. Offset zero. Now let's see what it looks like. Okay, I see my bytes here. Programmed by Greg Zumwalt. Oh, another Greg Zumwalt game. Cool. Got a bunch of his games. I need a Zone Runner. I've got um, Phantom Graph. I've got Predator. I think he did that. Let's write this. So, Command, Write. It's round one written. do is, this is the first half, so it's going to go in the C000 space. Got it. Okay, that ROM's in there. That's part one. And we're going to do part two now. Okay. And so we're going to open part, actually let's do this. Let's just uh, clear the buffer. I always like to do this. This gives me complete assurance. Good. Okay, and now we're going to. Oops, we're going to write. Okay, and we're in. So I'm going to insert this into the second bit here, and I'm going to hope that I can do this. Let's see how we're doing. And we're lined up, and we're pushing in. There we go. We now have a program pack custom programmed that should have a copy of Tetris. Okay, we're at the Coco, and what we're going to do here is we're going to insert this into slot one, and we're going to flip the switch over to slot one. Made it all together. Let's see how this goes. So here we go. Be careful. Okay, so in there, okay, switch to one, and 
now what we're going to do is plug you two in. Monitor on. Multi-pack on. Tetris. There we go. We now have a copy of Tetris in a program pack. I'll do level zero, please. I'll do height zero. I don't know how to play. Oh, that's not how you do it. Oh, up does it. Okay, I'm trying to figure out the controls. The thing you can't do is I don't know how we can do like in the NES version where you can kind of go over it. We're gonna we're gonna salvage this line. There we go. That's how you do it. Seems to be working to me. Now I got the controls out. Okay. Well, either way, we have ourselves a copy of Tetris for the Cocoa 1, 2, and 3 on a program pack that I didn't have before. So that's how one makes a program pack when they had no program pack before. Just take two EEPROMs, one of Ian Maverick's The Right Stuff cartridge reproductions, and a little bit of time. This has just been custom ROM pack for the Cocoa 3. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay classy, everyone. Thanks for watching.